Hi everybody and welcome to our beauty teaser section. Like we promised that we will put this one for free on YouTube. Now here we are. I want to introduce myself again. I am Sifu Tana Erdogan and this is... Sifu Graziano Di Giorgio and we are both the chief instructor from the IMAA and also for the kumfoyou.com. Yes. So, we don't waste your time and we want to start. Yeah? Enjoy if you it. have any questions, you know, you can write us, you can phone us, you can send us a fax or yeah, whatever. Okay? So, there is always no problem. a way to catch info us. at kumforyou.com. And we will answer everything. So, uh, first first I want to say something. Thank you very much for your feedbacks. We get so many feedbacks from our last videos and that helps us so much. And we are really lucky that we have so many good people outside who enjoyed our videos. So I hope you will like this one. And after that, of course, we will show you the second, the third and the fourth Beauty Cheezer section on DVD. And like we promised, we want to show you the first wooden dummy chisau section was the first wooden dummy or the third the third wooden dummy sorry the third wooden dummy chisau section also for free on youtube so hope you will enjoy it and let's start let's start so in the beauty chisau sections there are three different kind of elbows the first one is the kwai chan we start with the kwai chan the Kwai Chan is, like in the form, it came uh, with a little, it's a round, it came a little bit round and goes down here. Okay, when I show you this, it's more here. Yeah, this is the Kwai Chan. Then we have the Kap Chan. The Kap Chan comes from a high point down. Yeah, and we have the Pai Chan. The Pai Chan is a horizontal elbow, came from, from, right to the left or from left to the right so it doesn't matter important things is in the beauty they are we have different um, principles why because we stay in a very close distance now so you know we have foot and legs we can walk with them okay that's very important and if somebody want to give you an elbow you have to walk don't stay in an elbow distance okay like we said before, we are a fist fighting system and not an elbow fighting system or a ground fighting system. Okay, so we are good in, in fist fighting. The importance is if somebody attacks you, yes, as an example from the chi sao part, okay, if somebody attacks you with the elbow, with the kwai chan, you can always go back and punch him. You don't open the distance. That's very important to know. Look. To open the distance is different. When he attacks me and I go back and then go forward again, so then I open the distance. I give him a chance for a second, third, fourth attack or whatever. But here is very important. He gives me the Kwai Chan, I take only his step, I go backward and punch him. Very easy, very easy. Okay, if somebody attacks you with an elbow, look for your distance and punch him. Don't stay in the elbow strike. Don't think, oh, I learned this in Puchi. He gives me an elbow. Oh, I have to do now Kapchan or something, okay? It's wrong. But the Chisau section for Puchi will explain a different part of, of a principle. They, maybe it's like this. We stay against the wall, okay? Or we have not enough space to walk. So we, we are in a very close distance. Maybe we are surprised from his attack. Okay, we cannot walk. The only space where I have to go is behind him or left and right from him. So it's impossible for me, of, of course, he is free now, but imagine there is a wall, okay? So for me, it's impossible when he attacks me with an elbow to go back. So now I need a distance to fight very close, but only to open the distance again. This is the idea of Buji. I don't want, when he gives me the Kwai Chan, I don't want to stay here, give him a Kap Chan, an elbow, an elbow. This is not my idea. The idea is, I give him a Kap Chan, 
or Kwai Chan or whatever, and then open him in his direction. Because there is the free area. I want to go to the free area. Because I want to go back to my punches or to my faxa or whatever. Okay? Don't stay in this distance. Don't think, oh, I learned Buji. Now I can strike with my elbows. Of course you can. But you don't have to. If you can walk, then walk. If you want to punch, then punch. Don't give him an elbow or something like that. It's not necessary. Okay? It's really because it's dangerous. If he is a good grappler or something, yeah? And he comes and he gives me from a free part. He gives me a punch. I block him the punch. I want to attack him. And he gives me an elbow strike. And I say, give me an elbow. Oh, I know. I can give him a, a cup chan. And I learned this. And I stay. And maybe he, I cannot hit him, okay? It's, you know, when you are in a fight, it's not everything clear. Yeah? So I want to hit him and he defend this and then he goes down. So I, I gave him the chance to attack me. I gave him the chance to grab me. So I don't want this. So if I'm here and he attacks me, I am only go to my, to my punching distance. When he comes and wants to give me an elbow from here, well, I go and punch again. I don't want him close to me. This is not the idea. But like I said before, the idea from Bucci is only, I have no space. Maybe I'm surprised from his attack. So the only space is behind him, like this way, left and right and behind him. This is the only space. Behind me, no space or small space, yeah? Always think on that, not, not oh, I give my elbow because I know it. Don't never stuck in the form yeah. or in the section, this is, he make the attack one and I have to make attack two. This is only to learn how the thinking is, but in the free application, of course, it's different. Yes. This is, like Sifu Graziano said, absolutely right, because the sections are only a bridge for you to bring you somewhere, not to stay on it. Okay? All the sections. There's, you, can, you, can, you can create your own sections or drills, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, really. It's, it's totally up to you what you are doing. This is only one way of thousands how to train your elbows. But maybe there are better ways. So we are not the best. Maybe there are better ways and better ideas how you can do this than train this way. This is only one idea, okay? Don't think, oh, this is the section and in the fight I have to do this like this. No, it's to learn the body movement, the rotation of your body and how to strike with the elbow and then create your own thing. This is very important. So don't be stuck like Sifu Gratan said in the section. Yeah? So, then we start. start. So the first attack is the Kwai Chan, okay? But before we attack the Kwai Chan, this in Chi Zhao is a bad and wrong distance for elbows. You see, this is a good distance for punching, bad for elbows. Some people attack with the, with the Kwai Chan in a, from this position in a wrong way. It's like this. They stay here and they came immediately with the Kwai Chan, okay, immediately. But the problem here is when he came with the Kwai Chan, he opens the distance. He makes with the elbow, and then he opens because he wants to strike me with the elbow. So the first thing is very important is to move the arms away from the center line. This is the first, okay? Don't push it away. Don't do this because he will go back with the arms to the center line. Only bring him away, and this is one attack. Look, my arms already pre prepared for the Kwai Chan, and then bam, I attack him. Okay? And of course, the Kwai Chan goes to his head later. I make boom, okay, to his head, not to his chest. But, but we train with the chest, yeah? So I'm here, away from the center line, you see, now I can go in. When, when, I'm don't, when I stay in the center line, when I do this and I want to attack him, he can push me away. Or he can stop me. He can only stop me, you see? It's very easy for him. But when the arms is here, then it's difficult. So I make with my Kwai Chan, like in the form, a little round movement. I make a little round movement to push 
uh, his arms away from the center line to have the center, the, the center line for me free to attack. Okay? I show you again very slowly. I'm here, one. Now it's free. And then I go in with the Kwai Chan. Okay? This is the idea. I do it a little bit faster. Okay? A little bit. And then I'm in. So, from here, when I'm in, relax the arm control with one arm, both hands. Very important, okay? With one, one arm, both hands. Then from here, you drop the elbow inside and go under the arm. And this arm is the attack, okay? Two attacks. Kwai Chan and Buji. Kwai, Buji. Immediately. So when I do this in one movement, it's one, two. Okay? I use my whole body. I rotate my upper body boom, to come back. Okay? And this arm I need to control. I make one, two, I control the arms, whoop. Of course you can do Faxal, doesn't matter, you can do Buji. What for you is the better position you do this? Okay? Then one, and then the importance here is, is the lower part of your body and the upper part of your body. So, I mean the legs and the torso. It's very important. When I attack him, don't do this. Look, to my legs. And then turn in. Because I'm very weak now from left and right. When I control him and he pushes me a little bit, I will fall down immediately. Okay? This is the first thing. The second, maybe he cannot push me. I have a good control, possible. Okay, I'm still. The second thing is now I use only the power from my arm or a little bit from your back. Okay, you do this, but you need the hip, the hip yeah. right? You need the hip. And to use the power from the hip is very important to know how to use it. Okay, so in the beauty form, maybe you remember you have. You stay with one leg forward and you cross arm to the Kwai Chan or the Pai Chan or the Kap Chan, whatever. Okay? But in the section, you stay like this, parallel, together, in one line. The form will show you, or you have to learn in the form, how to use the upper body to create a spring power. Okay? This is the idea. From here, from this part, okay? Don't turn your legs. If you turn the knees and the legs inside, then your power will stop. Yeah? So when I was a child, we had, um, you know, the, the, the action figures from He-Man, you remember? Maybe you have also one, or you had one. And you can turn always the, the torso, and you can hold the legs and turn the torso. Okay, and if you leave the torso, then he spring back to the posi uh, to the normal position. This is the same. This is the idea. The idea is I turn, stay still, and I'm stable from left and right. And if I attack, I stay up like a spring. Okay. So and I do this. Doesn't matter if this leg forward or this leg forward. I do the same. The importance is don't move the legs. If you move the legs, then you will lose your balance. If not, then go to your toy and look if you find some figure of your old human and try it. It's very interesting how, that, how it works. Then you see it more clear. If you played with Barbies, <laughs> so it's your fault. <laughs> so we, we show it again, okay? So we are here, then I look that I can move him from the center line. I go in with my step. I attack him with my Kwai Chan. And then from here, my whole torso goes down, but not my legs, okay? My whole torso goes down, and then I stand up again. And you see my legs still in the same position. I don't move my legs, yeah? So the only thing what I can move is forward. I can move from here forward, okay? This I can do. I have to do. So. And then the second attack. I make one, two, I'm in. Vroom, vroom, okay? I do beauty, beauty, 
and chant. But of course, you can do fuck sao, fuck sao, and chant. Doesn't matter to you, okay? Up to you what you will want to do. But the idea was move him, go in, control the arm. Immediately, you jump from here to there, there, and there. And you see, I stay still and I turn only my upper body. Okay? To create the power from here. Yeah? Or my moving. So this is the attack from the Kwai Chan. You can do it like a drill. Boom, ba ba bam, and again. Bam, ba 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 bam, and again. Dang, da. Okay, hundred times, hundred times. So the next is Sifu Grazano want to defend this. When I attack him, I move the arms outside. I want to go in. There is a rule, like I did also in the Kwai Chan attack. Never make an elbow without the pull. Look, this arm, I pull away from me, you see? I pull away to give him an attack. Sifu Grazano do the same. He has two possibilities. We will show you two of possibilities. The first is he can grab my arm to pull me. Or he grabbed my shoulder to pull me. But he needs something to give me an attack. Okay? Like I did by him. Yes? So I make one. Now he grabbed my arms. Because I control him. Maybe I hold his hand. He cannot move to my shoulder. Okay? Then he has to make a hun so to grab my hand. And then to my arm. And then he pulls me. And then he gives me the kapchan. And when he gives me the kapchan, he moves a little bit his um, weight on the front leg. Yeah, he moves only a little bit and then to go back. Only for the, for the hit, bang, and then he goes back immediately. He don't stay in this position, okay? This is the Boeing arrow stance. And the Boeing arrow stance is only a stance to move, not to stay. Okay, we have the Famous bowing arrow stance in the long pole. Yeah, yeah, you are here with the long pole. And this is the same, but you move away. You make the bowing arrow stance and go away. Don't stay in this position, okay? This is only to give more force to your, to your punch or to your elbow. Okay, strike. I do it again. One, two, and then, dang, see, Grazano hits me in this part of the head. And then he makes the follow-up technique. You see, one, two, and the chat genzal. This is the chat genzal. Yeah? You can do the chat genzal also to um, strangle yeah, somebody, hold his jacket or something and to make it very tight. Yeah. So we do it again. One, I move. Dang, Supraton hits me. And then the chat genzal. Of course, he can do also boom. Boom, doesn't matter. Yeah, I can do also in the beginning when I do this, I can do also the chat genzal. Okay? But to, to train everything, you do the first with the Puji or the Faxao, the second with the chat genzal. Okay? So the, the importance of the of the cap chan, we will show you from here when you attack with the Kwai Chan, is when he don't look to this arm now, okay? Importance here. When he, when he comes, he's very close to me, I have to drop my, my upper body, okay, and turn in. This is the same what I do for the attack, okay. When he comes, because I cannot move, yeah, so I bring my, 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 um, my chest down, and then he slides slowly from my arm, you see, give me a, again, please. He slides slowly from my arm in my hand. And I move to his head to cover up myself, okay? Maybe he slides more from far away from my hand, doesn't matter. The importance is he don't hit me. Yeah? He don't hit my vertical middle line. I'm here, you see? And then boom, I give him boom the hit. Yeah, with the elbow. Very dangerous. It's not a joke, okay? Careful. Very careful. Yeah, because with this part, yeah, you concentrate all your power in a very small part of your of your body, and if you hit here, this part is very dangerous, okay? So please be careful, and don't show to your children. 
Okay, so so from here, when I attack Steve Gratiano again, I move, I want to attack him. This was the first. Second is, his arm is free. I don't grab him or I pull him outside. He can go to my shoulder. This is the classic one, yeah? Can we change position so we can yep. do better? So we are here. Then I attack him. And Steve Gratiano, you see, he goes out, drop his body, grab my shoulder, and then the same action. Same action. He gives me the cup chan, and then from the cup chan, you see the hand is exactly here, not here, also not in the form, because we see sometimes people they do this. This is not right. Okay, the hand here has nothing to do because we are in a very close range distance. If his hand has space to be here, then he block himself. He cannot hit with the elbow and he cannot strike with the hand. So the hand look for the space. Where is space? Is here. Here is space. Here not. Here is the attack. Don't stay here. So always think for yourself. What I want to do is hit or strike with the hand. So what I want to do is of course boom and then my hand is automatically here to this side. From here I do my faxao again. Okay? So. You see, see Fukartano's hand now? He came, grabbed my shoulder, pulled me down, bam, and the hand is exactly here. Okay? And then he can attack me. One, two, Chad Genzao, or one, two, and Chanzo. Okay? Very important. Yeah? So we do it again. One, two, bam. Yeah. This is the idea. So then, my idea, we show it from this side? Check, yeah. yeah. My idea is, of course, to defend. But how can I defend? So the first, what you have to think is, when I do the Kwai Chan, don't do too much. Don't fall in your own force, okay? Because Sivu Graziano, what he is create is with, with the body and with this, he creates for me a center of gravity, yeah? This means that I feel, I. I fall in a hole. This, this is what I feel. But I feel this only because I lose my balance with my attack. I give too much force on my attack, so I fall on my own force. So when I attack, I have to very concentrate to be direct, um, strict with my body. Okay? Of course I do this, but I don't do this. Okay? So. If I do this and Sibu Graziano makes the, the captcha, I make one, boom, you see, I'm still here. Not here. I, if I'm here, it's too late. But I'm here. Sibu Graziano wants to pull me, pull me down. You see, I'm still here. Don't go here, okay? I'm here. So, now what happened? My center line is showing somewhere. Sibu Graziano's center line is perfect to attack me. So, I have to turn. This arm is free now. You see? It's free, but I cannot hit it. The first thing is to turn my center line. Now, from a little bit here. Now it's very important again. Look to my legs and to my upper body. Okay, very important. So we do it slowly. I'm here. I come in. See Ugratan attacks. You see, I'm here. To my legs. Very important. See Ugratan came with the Kapchan. That. Before he arrives, I turn my whole body, but not my leg. Only my upper body and my arm, this one, saves me. You see? Hit me. Hit me, see what's happening. You see? It's very easy now for me to defend. But only defend with this or this is difficult. Only with this hand. Why I have this free? I can use this. Okay? Don't be stupid. Use both hands. You can. Boom! I'm here. You see? So this is ready to attack. But the first what I do now is I'm still with my legs in the same position. You can leave it here. So what I do is now, look, I turn only my whole upper body. I bring his elbow down, okay, to, to bring him from here can we capture? to here, okay? And this creates my, uh, my pie chan, okay? The horizontal one. He came, I'm here, boom. Now look, my upper body, yeah? You see, I turn my whole body. 45 degrees to this side. 
my legs are 45 degrees to this side. Now, think again on, the, on your action figure, yeah? Now I turned not only the upper body, I turned also the leg to the other side. Now leave both. What will happen? You will jump the whole force, okay? This will be now happen. Look. One. Two. Okay? Now I can free myself. But only have only possible because I turn the whole upper body, legs still 45 degree, upper body 45 degree, and then boom in the last moment. Okay, I explode. And then I give him of course, in here again, I give him chin bam bam bam. Okay? Make my follow-up attack. Or I give him punches, doesn't matter. So you can do what you want. The importance here is the upper body. That I'm here and I do this. Not this. Not with my leg. Okay? Only here. And my hand is automatically on that place where I have a little bit space. Turn. Go in. And go in. Okay? So I can... Look. I can lose the whole body to explode. Yeah? Here again, it comes, bam. first of all this one, second this, then one, two, okay, four, one, and then in. So it's a very nice one, but also very dangerous and difficult. Try it with your upper body and with your legs, it's very difficult, you will feel it. And try it also with this one, and you feel that you cannot use too much power, yeah? So think on your spring. You have in the chisel sections, in the seven chisel sections, you use always, the most, your elbow, okay? Always, to, to create the spring power. That means he push my arm here, I make whoop, boom, okay? Then, later, you use also your shoulder. You remember, when we are here and he gives me the fax out, I cannot move my elbow because he controls my elbow. I move my shoulder for my spring power. Now you use your hip, so the biggest part, okay? Very difficult in the fourth beauty chisel section. There is one part, how to create the power from here is different, okay? Don't think on this one. Of course, when you punch, you use also your hip, but this is a little bit different, yeah? Here you use totally in two directions to give the power, okay? It's very different. So, yep, then, I hope you understand this. <laughs> then from here, we do this again, very slowly, he comes here, bam, I control, I give him my, my pie chart. But Sivu Grazzano, he has space, I don't have the space, okay? Sivu Grazzano moves a little bit away to this side, with his leg, makes a turn, and come back. And he push me, okay, to open this part, to hit me, to give me a punch, this doesn't matter, you know? And then he grabbed me down again, bam, tuck, and then he attacks me, okay, with his attacks. Yeah? So we do it from the beginning, yeah? Slowly, I mean. One, two, four. Okay, so. Now we have also a nice thing here. When somebody, which I mean, when somebody is here and attacks you to the side, you have again a bad position or a worse position against him. He has a better position. So don't think to defend this one. Don't think, oh, I have to defend this one. Okay? Right. We show you from here at first. Okay? I'm here. He has the arm. So I try now to defend this one. Okay? And see, Grotano do it very relaxed. Faster. It's so difficult, okay? But the problem is this hand. Maybe I defend this, but what's with this hand? Oh, of course, I have to do this, but it's too late. It's really too late. What I have to do is more clever. So, don't think on the hand who attacks you. Sometimes you have to think on the hand who create the attack, who prepare the attack, okay? So when we are here, this hand pre prepares the attack for him, okay? I was like this. Here, this is the dangerous part, not this, 
Okay, this because he moves my shoulder up, so I lose my balance. The first thing what I have to do is maybe you remember the third chisel out section? Yeah, it's the same, same idea. The first thing what I have to do is don't move your shoulder in this position. Move your shoulder in this position. So I have to move my center line back to his center line. Let me come a little bit here. So I have to move back to him. So now he hit me, and I do this. And now I defend, not descend, I defend descend. And automatically, I have both hands. Look. You see? Now you do it again fast, okay? Touch. Touch. Push me here. And again. Oh. Easy. I don't have to be hurry or something. You see? I have both hands. Now I can attack. Maybe we change again and they see yeah. better. Come here. You do it again, push me and hit. Touch. And again. Touch. And again. Touch. And again. That's, that's it. Boom. And then here. But if I'm here and then I try to defend, doesn't that doesn't work, okay? So, but I'm here. Don't move. And then I'm here. You see? Easy. Now I go in. Now see, Graziano has now the bad position. This is my scissor now. And then from here, of course, I can do this and whatever, yeah? But now see, Graziano has the both bad position. So what he's doing is, of course, he wants to move back to the center line. Okay, and then he wants to attack me with this one, and then we crash. Yeah, you see, we are now in this position. From here, see, we got some. Always think when you are in the town bonza position. Always try to hit somebody. Don't stay and hope that somebody makes pictures. Okay, so try immediately to attack. Look, we show you again from here slowly. I defend. Boom, and see, Graziano attacks me immediately. Immediately, okay? So, and he controls, of course, this arm. And then from here, boom. So, when he wants to attack me, I bring his hand down. I grab him immediately, bring his hand down, and maybe remember the fourth chisel section? We had this one. Now I do it different. I bring his hand down. Wait, I have to say here. I bring his hand down, and I go up with a chancel. And see, Gorzan moves with me. And then he wants to do it again and again. You see? See? Then one and again. And again. And again. So this is like a drill for you. And again. And one time, Sigurdsson says, Well, oh, it's boring. I want to attack you. So when I'm here, we show it on this side. I want to attack him. He makes, you see? Do it again, please. You see? This is exactly his position from the double tanzo. You see? Exactly the position. I grab him, he moves forward, he turns his body and push the hand and he has both hands from me and then he attacks me. Boom! And then more. This movement you have also in the BUG form is this, yeah? When you came from here um, with the scissor ganza, you come here and then you have this one. Okay? Is the idea of that, okay? You have also different parts how to use this one, but this is also an idea. When we are here, and I do this, see Graziano, you see, brings me to both sides, controls here my arm, and then he attacks me again. Understand? It's very easy and a very short section. We show you from the beginning, slowly, but without a stop. Okay, but slowly, and then you will see how short it is, but it's deep from the understanding. And it's not really easy to learn how to move your body. Okay, so from here. Okay, so you see, it's very short, but you have to look for your upper body, you have to look for your turning stance, okay, how to move your legs, don't move your legs, all these small things, also how to use the capture, 
how to use the Kwai, kwai Chan or the Pai Chan and the hand always to, is here because this is the only free space what you have okay here are the arms from the others you are here to attack from the, the um, most from the longest way longest way <laughs> this was, was that what I'm searching for the longest way this is not the longest way use the whole way here okay boom to 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 attack with your with your full force yeah so so this is it this is the first beauty our section I hope you like it and please don't forget this is only uh, additional material is not to replace any teacher or something like this is only to give you an idea a possibility how to use the form in application maybe or make a drill or make your skills better yeah. only to uh, it's not to replace only additional it's always to remember yes and also don't forget what we said before in the beginning we said this is only a training method okay don't be stuck in the chisel sections. Chisel, yes, but not in the section. This is only a training method. There are maybe a hundred and thousand different kind of training ideas from different teachers who train the elbow strikes from the beauty. Okay? This is only one method how you can use it. So if you like it, then we are happy. If you can use it, we are more happy. And if you can improve your skill with this one, then we are the luckiest persons in the world. And then we know that we did the right, uh, the right job for you. Okay? So this is it. Yes. Thank also, you. Yeah. Please sorry. don't hesitate to contact us if there are any questions or any unclear things. Contact us via email on kumforyou.com and then uh, we respond to you as soon as possible. So, thank you very much, you, and see you, you next time. See you next time.